Okay, I'm going to try to do the best job I can of reviewing the Sierra Eskimo, Eskimo Sierra Thermal two-man shanty. I got my little helper with me. Figured might as well assemble this in the living room and not freeze outside. So um, unpackaged everything for what it's worth. Everything was packaged up in the box very nicely. I kind of left the wrappers on here. Just to kind of show you, they got some bubble wrap. I mean, it's all done very nice. Um, unpackaged the rest of the stuff. It's all kind of laying out here for now. And, you know, still got still got a bit of hardware here. I've never put one of these together before, so this will be my first time. But I figured I might as well post something online and contribute to the community who will be using this or looking for a review at least. So, overall, it looks pretty nice so far in terms of the materials. Everything seems pretty strong and sturdy. So... I'll get back with you. I'll start putting it together right now with the help from my little buddy here. Okay, we moved on. Got a few things assembled here. Overall, process going smooth. Taking an orange break. And, uh, you know, uh, these seats come, as you probably saw from earlier, uh, this is all assembled already. Um, but we got it all assembled in here. About to throw together. Seems like just the last part here probably be the fun part with the cover and the poles um, and so um, all in all the directions are straightforward easy to understand um, you know everything makes sense it's coming together pretty good and uh, yeah I'm liking it so far but uh, we'll see the finished product here in a few minutes all right guys well fast forward and uh, little my little helpers in bed now but Got the rest of this put together and got uh, a little sidetracked in the middle of everything. But all in all, it uh, seems like an awesome shanty. I mean, it's a great entry level. Um, Sierra Eskimo Thermal. I believe the model number is 25250. I'll post it in the title in case I'm a number off or so. Um, but overall, it came together very nicely. Um, everything seems very high quality. Um, nice thermal outer layer. Um, it's great, man. Um, do a little walk around and get inside. I'll have to put my head, uh, headlamp on my head. But we'll do a quick little walk around. It's got four windows, two side windows, um, longer back window here in the rear. Yeah, scoot around to this side. It's got one vent, as you can see, up at the top. Um, Wish the skirt was a little bit longer. That's probably the first time I'd ever request that. But um, I mean, over the overall, it's it seems like a fantastic shanty. Like I said, I picked it up for three forty nine at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, and uh, I think you can't go wrong. I think they sell it on their website for four fifty. While I'm in the rear, I just want to show you. This is probably the most challenging part. Was putting. Uh, this little rubber, let's see if I can get a better view. This uh, black rubber skirt all along here, and I did screw in the screws that came with it to lock it all down. Um, that was kind of a pain, and probably could have done a little bit better of a job, but it's in there. It ain't going nowhere. Um, that wasn't fun, but you know, all in all, this probably took me an easy couple hours to put together. You might be a little more savvy than I am but I kind of take my time and make sure everything is as good as I can get it but um let's move over to the front it does only have one door and you got your other front window here zippers uh, work real nice very smooth and as you can see it's got great space in here 22 I believe 22 and a half square foot of fishable area and here we go on the interior. I'll jump inside here. Yeah, sorry for the darkness. I got my headlamp, but well, that's the best I can do. Uh, seats obviously fold, fold down, and they can flip up as well. Why you'd want them to flip up, I have no idea. Maybe it would come in handy for something. Uh, nice thing is too, swivel seats, uh, which is fantastic and uh, they are removable and they just got these two 
pins holding them in here. Take those out if you're fishing solo and you got less weight and more room. A couple side pouches. Again, you got our uh, windows here, rear window, side windows. And um, the one thing I did see a review of this um, similar model, if not the same one, from another gentleman that did a good job. And he did mention on his, I believe it was the 2017. He said they just had pressed in pins here before. And that, that was his big complaint, or his only complaint, I should say. Um, he loved it except for that. And now the 2018 model, which is this one, has a screw. And he even mentioned that the newer models were going to come out with that. So um, nice big buttons, seem easy enough to move and snap in. And uh, hopefully that screw holds up. And all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. It's lots of fishable area. By the way, I'm 6'2", 215, and this is plenty of room. Obviously, you can't stand up all the way, um, but you got at least uh, five feet, I think. You'd have to look at the specs for uh, the specifics. But, I mean, lots of fishable area. I use a camera and a couple rods um, easily. Just, just great. Um, so if you're looking for, and, and by the way, I'm not like sponsored by Eskimo or anything, as you can tell. Um, but my opinion is for an entry level, maybe a little above entry level, um, you're getting a full thermal shanty for 350 with two seats. I mean, I think you can't go wrong. I mean, I've been in my buddy's clam Yukons and some other ones, and they're nice. Don't get me wrong. I love them. They're you know, probably nicer than this, but for the money, um, you're getting a good bang for your buck. For 350 bucks, um, it's a it's a lot of good shanty. I mean, you get the full thermal. It's not just the top. Um, I'm happy. You know, the true test will be taken out on the ice. But um, first impression is, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Zippers are real smooth. Um, that's about all I can think of, guys. I'll try to post any um, other questions you might have. I'm um, just going to fold it up for now and get it out of my living room before my son gets into this tomorrow. So, all right, good luck and tight lines.